Welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com Welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com I'm going to be making a fisherman's pie today I'll be using some cod, a few shrimps or prawns, a nice cream sauce um, and we're going to top that with some mashed potato as you can see I've got some potatoes on the go here let's get these out of the way first so we're going to bring these to the boil cook them until they're incredibly soft we we'll mash them down with a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper a little bit of butter make them nice and creamy and smooth um, once this is done I'll get on to the next step which is frying our fish and getting that beautiful sauce together really simple dish takes a little bit of time but, but really worth it see you in a moment here we are then, so my potatoes are being mashed now. Like I said, I've just put them with a, some salt, pepper, a little bit of butter. What I've got here is I've got some onions, a little bit of leek, and some celery. I've got my fish here, my raw fish, which I'm throwing in. I've just chopped it up, this is a mixture of Cod and coli. Coli is a much cheaper white fish available in the UK. Quite common. And I'm going to throw some little shrimps in there, little prawns. Oh, this is lovely. I just can't wait to eat this already. A little, just a little bit of black pepper. Yeah. And some salt. I'm using sea salt, which makes sense, I suppose. We are making a fisherman's pie after all. Alright, let's just cook this down for just for four or five minutes. And then we'll add, I've got a few more other vegetables to add. I'm going to add a few mushrooms, a bit of broccoli and some uh, red pepper. You can add any vegetables you like to this really, there's no set rule around this. Okay, I'll see you in about five minutes. There you go, that was just like four or five minutes just to give it a head start of these vegetables. And there you go, a bit of broccoli, red pepper and some mushrooms. Just to add a little bit of colour really. Like I say, you can add any vegetables you want, it's entirely up to you. Again, let's cook this for another four or five minutes. Then we're gonna add some cream and some parsley. Flat leaf parsley I'm using. Um, and then yeah, this will be done, this sauce, and then we'll move to the next stage. So I'll see you back here in four or five. There we go, that was about four or five minutes, as I said. That's all cooked down nicely, the fish is broken up. Let's just get a little bit of our parsley in there, fresh parsley. And now I've got some single cream, which is really going to bring this whole thing together. Right, it's a great idea now to lower the heat, otherwise your cream will cause you problem. So just keep that down a little bit. Let's just simmer this for about just three minutes. We'll check it again. Maybe you might need a little bit more salt or pepper, depending on your taste. I think I'm going to be okay. And then the next stage is we're going to put some of this in the bottom of a baking tray and then we're going to cover it with our mashed potato. We're going to put a little bit of cheese on, a little bit of English cheddar cheese on the top I think, just to help it brown off and then it goes in the oven and it's done. I'll see you at the next stage. There we go, so I've got my um, baking tray here, oven proof metal. You can use ceramic if you want. And I've layered in like a centimetre and a half of our beautiful sauce. And we're simply now going to just get some of our mashed potato on the top. Which I do by, if you do it like this, like a, a spoon at a time. And then we'll fork it together. And that'll create a nice little pattern on it as well. I didn't mention, but I, I did actually even put a little bit of the 
fresh parsley in the potato when I was doing it. Gives it another little dimension, you know. Okay, so let me finish this. I run my fork across it to create a nice little tractor pattern. I'm going to pop a little bit of cheese on it. And then it's going to go in the oven. It's all cooked everything, so it's just a matter of browning it off and getting it together, really. So I'll just see you in a couple of minutes. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm just smoothing her out. Making these lines also, it makes it crisp up a lot nicer in, in, the, in the oven. You've got a few peaks. You can see that that cream sauce is coming out the side there, all around the sides, which is lovely. That'll bubble over even maybe, and it'll just be beautiful. So like I say, just make a few nice peaks in this. Let me get a little bit of cheddar on there. Not too much, just a little bit to help it brown its way along. <laughs> and that's gonna go in the oven. Like I said, it's gonna go in the middle of my oven. Probably just for about 20 minutes in my one, but like I said, I've got a very strong oven which is fan assisted and um, everyone's oven's very different. So what we want is a kind of nice golden color on the top there and she's done. There we go then, that was just in the oven for, like I said, it was only in my oven for about 10 or 12 minutes. It's all cooked, it's fantastic, it's, it takes a little bit of time to do, but it's really worth it. It's a bit like a shepherd's pie, really. Uh, our fisherman's pie is ready. We're all gonna eat this now. See you next time, bye-bye. HowToCookGreatFood.com don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For more information, take a look at our website, www.howtocookgreatfood.com.